Hello, hello. Today we will talk about the most common Nissan Versa problems. According to JD Power, the quality and reliability score for the Nissan Versa is 83 points out of a possible 100. This places the Versa in the ratings category of great. And the other respectful website, RepairPal.com gave the Nissan Versa a 4.0 out of 5 points for reliability, which ranks it 9th out of 21 for subcompact cars. Nice results, but not ideal. So, what's wrong with this car? Today we will talk about it. Let's go. CVT Transmission Problems While the manual transmissions in Nissan Versa S models are not without flaws, the CVT transmissions have had far more issues. While this could just be due to the fact that there are more Versas on the road with CVT transmissions, it's always a good idea to double check, especially in earlier versions. Particularly those from model years 2012 to 2017 have been known to shiver and jerk while driving. It's been difficult to change gears, and the tachometer has been known to jump about. Whining noises were also observed by many owners. Owners have also complained that their Versa abruptly stopped while driving, which is much more concerning. CVT transmission difficulties were discovered to be the source of this erratic behavior. Stalling problems. The challenge with diagnosing a stall is that it's difficult to simply recreate the condition that caused the halt in the first place. To put it simply, all cars require air, gasoline, and a spark to operate. These three crucial ingredients must also be present in the correct quantities and in the correct order. A delay may occur if something goes wrong. A stalling Versa could be caused by bad gas, insufficient gas, or a poor air-fuel mixture. If the fuel injector system allows too much or too little fuel into the combustion chamber, a stall might result. It's also possible that the gasoline pump or filter needs to be serviced or replaced. Throttle Body Problems Another factor that can cause a Nissan Versa to stall is a filthy or malfunctioning throttle body. The air intake system of a car includes a throttle body. It is a direct response to a driver pressing on the accelerator and controls the amount of air entering the engine. A low idle might happen when a throttle body isn't working properly. When you come to a complete stop or abruptly press on the accelerator this frequently presents as a stall. Due to safety considerations, this problem should be addressed immediately. AC Problems A refrigerant leak A dirty cabin air filter limiting cold air flow A dirty or clogged AC condenser or evaporator a failing blower motor, a malfunctioning compressor, or an electrical system flaw are all typical reasons for an air conditioner in your vehicle to stop working properly. An AC that isn't working properly could potentially be due to the blender door actuator. According to RepairPal.com, a refrigerant leak is responsible for 37% of the time when a Versa AC unit fails to blow cold air. It's because there's an electrical fault with the climate control system 21% of the time and the compressor is responsible for 12% of all compressor failures. Coil Spring Issues Suspension issues plagued the 2012 Nissan Versa. The coil springs have been discovered to be defective on numerous times, frequently breaking down prematurely and causing other sections of the vehicle's suspension to fail as well. The Nissan Versa's front coil spring was subject to a recall. The corrosion coating on the springs was found to be insufficient, allowing the coil springs to corrode and decay. Electrical Problems As if the 2012 Nissan Versus transmission wasn't bad enough, electrical difficulties were also mentioned as a key concern for this model year. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration filed a report on the 2012 Versa for electrical issues that resulted in three crashes and three fires. Airbag Problems Takata airbags were utilized by Nissan, as well as many other automakers, on a number of their models. These airbags received a lot of bad news and were eventually recalled because they released too slowly. Not at all, or with such power that they ruptured and wounded the people they were supposed to protect. The Nissan Versa was impacted by this issue from 2007 to 2011. A class action lawsuit was also launched against Nissan in November 2021 involving its side curtain airbags. This lawsuit claims that defective computer software caused airbags to erroneously deploy even though there is no justified risk to driver safety and it involves all Nissan owners and lessees from 2015 to 2019. The lawsuit also claimed that as a result of the fault, the value of used vehicles on the market has decreased. Steering Problems Owners of the 2016 Nissan Versa said that vehicles tended to drift or jump into other lanes while driving. This issue was discovered when driving on highways at highway speeds. Dealerships claimed that the vehicles were severely out of alignment, 
However, the problem persisted even after the repairs were made. These identical steering issues were eventually reported to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. In addition to the drifting, owners reported that their steering wheels would lock up unexpectedly, posing a serious safety risk. However, the difficulties persisted after the Nissan Versa was taken in for repairs. Idle Problem A car's harsh idling can be caused by three things. The first is the spark plugs. The check engine light will illuminate when spark plugs break, and you'll likely notice a drop in gas mileage, power loss or surging, and a long wait to start the automobile. Spark plugs do wear out, although they usually last for roughly 100,000 miles. Harsh driving conditions or leaking internal fluids can have an impact on our estimate. Spark plug replacement normally costs less than $250. 2. The ignition coil. When it's time to start the engine, ignition coils deliver information to the spark plugs. In cars made in the last 30 years, one ignition coil per cylinder is standard. When an ignition coil in an automobile fails, the check engine light illuminates. It's possible that you'll notice a drop in fuel economy and an increase in emissions. It's possible that the automobile won't start or that the engine will run poorly. A Nissan Versa ignition coil replacement costs between $200 and $300. 3. An internal vacuum leak. If you have a vacuum leak, it will let too much air into the engine, causing it to run poorly. The check engine light will illuminate if you experience hesitation and rough idling. Hear vacuum sounds, or hear vacuum sounds. Repair expenses could be as low as $150 or as high as $1,000 depending on where the leak is located. Driving with a vacuum leak is not recommended since it can result in a significant loss of engine power as the leak progresses. So, that's it. Hope you like the channel and subscribe.